everybody, Zenny62. Hey, you know my birthday is August 4th. I turned 62. Zenny62 turned 62 August 4th. Yeah, but enough about me. It's my friend here. Come on in. Quentin. What's going on? Fayetteville's best constant personal trainer. I appreciate it. Got it. Has a contrarian view regarding Robert Downey Jr. playing Dr. Doom as introduced at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not anti uh, Robert Downey Jr. I loved him as Iron Man. I thought he did a great job with the role, but I'd like to just even give somebody else a shot at uh, Doctor Doom. I mean, what was the whole point of him leaving just to bring him back? I understand they got the multiverse and they're doing all these different things to try to add to the uh, whole multiverse of Marvel. But I mean, you know, get some new blood in there. Give somebody else a chance to prove what they can do on the screen. What do you think? of the news that Robert Downey Jr. is going to clear $40 million just to play in the end credits scene of Fantastic Four 2025. So, so me personally, I think that's... Marvel needs somebody... I'll take to, $4 million. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> i take $4 million myself. But yeah, I yeah. think that's Marvel trying to, you know, get some, you know, of that vibrato they had from all the other films back. You know, you bring back Robert Downey Jr. So, you know, you bring back the fans that want to see him again. But I would have liked to have seen him if he comes back in some form of Iron Man, however they wanted to do it. But yeah. otherwise, you know, I, w I would have liked to have seen Doctor Doom be given a new face. Yeah. I want to see Doctor Doom played as he was written. Because we haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Right? I mean, right. this is the first time that the Marvel people have actually owned Fantastic Four. Right, right, right. right? And last time we had that... Charlie, sorry Josh Trank, but I just have to tell it like it is. The first part of the movie was good. What did you think of that movie by Josh Trank? Fantastic for his version. Um, it didn't even have a flying car in it. They, they mentioned I, it. I can, I can appreciate the attempt. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite. I can't right. say it was, but I can appreciate the attempt. We need better Fantastic Four. I'm, I'm a huge Robert Downey Jr. fan. Not so huge, I go out and buy stuff. You know, but, but I'll see his movies. Uh... I kind of agree, but then Robert Downey Jr. just after Oppenheimer, he's yeah. a heck of an actor, man. Yeah. He just, yeah. you know, I get it. I get you it. know, it, it's going to be his reputation precedes it, so it's kind of like I, I get why they did it. But yeah. at the same time, you know, it's like, are we going to keep recycling the same people in all of the roles? Or are we going to give other actors a shot? You know, just to see the point. Yeah. You know? Hey, tell them how to find you. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Clayton Thomas. Uh, also on Instagram at. Clay underscore O underscore Nidus. Uh, check me out. Clayton Thomas, check him out. He may even be in a Marvel costume. In fact, Probably. actually, DC is your favorite one, Green Lantern, right? Or is it, did uh, I get I, that right? I got a lot of hats and a lot of uh, paraphernalia in general. So I've, I've got all the superheroes, whether it's Marvel or DC. You might see me in a hat or a shirt with one of those. So, so if you think he's ready for Comic Con, it's because he is. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Next year, right? Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>